Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hello, my name is V. I post nail tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I am really excited to be back into my YouTube filming room. If you missed my last video, make sure you go check it out. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support. You guys are so, so sweet. I do appreciate you guys and just letting you guys know you guys keep me going. I love getting feedback from you guys. That being said, I am doing a very simple, simple fall look. I wanted to kind of show you guys exactly how you can use specific colors to your advantage to execute a season or a holiday look without having to do too much crazy stuff. A lot of the time I feel like nail techs get discouraged because you feel like you need to do all the extraness and all those intricate designs. However, you don't. So this is exactly what this video is trying to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's get into it. Getting right into today's video, I am starting off with my practice hand pre-prepped. I did apply the universal not polish tips onto this hand. They are pre-shaped stiletto nails, so highly recommend them. It makes an easy transition to coffin shape. So here I am taking my brush and just applying a little bit of this burnt orange color. I actually mixed this myself. I took some orange, brown, yellow, and I mixed them all together and it created this really pretty burnt orange. I do recommend a lot of the time that if you don't have specific colors that you like, always, always, always try to mix them yourself. I do this all the time. As long as you have good products and they blend well together, you won't have any issues with this. I do this all the time and I freaking love making custom colors. I am just going ahead and applying that on the entire surface of the nail. I am going to be doing pretty simple look for today's video. I wanted to show you guys exactly how you can do something super simple as long as you are implementing those colors for a specific holiday or season. You can execute a design without adding too much stuff to it and still get that perfect set. I am taking this really pretty olive green and applying that on the middle finger. I'm going to be doing orange, green, and then the ring finger and the index finger are going to be the accent nails. I am just applying a medium sized bead onto the tip part of the nail and then blending it down towards the end. And then I'm going to be adding just a little bit more on that tip. I do like to add my colored acrylics very thin as long as it is opaque enough to show the color in full and then I add the extra thickness with my clear. So now I'm just adding the third bead of acrylic in that middle section that is typically where your apex would be at. For the purpose of this video and I mention it a lot in my previous videos I don't add thickness to these nails because it is a practice hand and it's not necessary. So now I'm just adding that last bead into the top area where the cuticle area is at. Gently push it up into the cuticle area and then drag it down. For any beginner nail techs and if you are new to my channel, I have a beginner nail tech series on my channel and I go really in depth with my liquid to powder ratio and acrylic application and e-filing videos. I have a few of those on there. So make sure you guys check that out if you guys are interested in learning in depth exactly how I do everything. 
So for my ring finger and my index finger, those are going to be my accent nails. So I'm taking a very thin layer of Ice Queen from Not Polish. It's a very vibrant white. I'm going to be using this as my base for my design. I am then taking that orange and adding just a blob of that onto that wet white color. And then I'm taking the olive green as well. I'm basically just randomly placing them onto that wet base. I kind of press it in a little bit and then I let it do its thing. Because it is white, it will kind of blend on its own and give that um, unique look to it. I didn't want to do marble. I wanted to do just something different. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. I am kind of trying to mimic like a tie-dye effect. Don't mind my kid's little hand that just popped in there. He was trying to tell me to put some random thing on there. I don't know, I kind of think I like it. I did really enjoy the outcome of it, especially when you add additional nail art on top like I'm going to be doing. So kind of try it out. Like I say all the time, throw stuff together. Try to figure out your own trends. You don't necessarily have to follow any trends. So that's why I do a bunch of random stuff on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that. Again, lightly pressing it into that wet white acrylic. Once I'm content with my design, I am taking that same white that I used and I am making sure that my brush is really wet and I'm taking a very small amount of that acrylic and kind of just spotting it over that design that I just did. 
I wanted to mute the colors just a little bit more so I'm giving it kind of that milky effect. Not too dramatic but like I said I just wanted to mute it just a little bit. And you can see the difference from you know the vibrant to kind of more of the muted colors. Now I'm going to be encapsulating these nails. I am doing that using my Not Polish Clear Acrylic. And I'm just applying a thin layer over top of the entire set. Because these are colored acrylics and I mentioned before that I like to work with my colored acrylics very thin so I can save the product and it lasts me a lot longer. And then I add the extra thickness with the clear. Once they are nice and dry, you want to make sure you are tapping the nails to make sure that it is fully dry and then you're going to go ahead and start your filing process. For this step, I am using my Kiara Sky Rechargeable e-file and I am using their 5-in-1 bit. It is medium grit. And I'm just going in and filing the surface of the nail, making sure that I'm getting in the cuticle area. Why I love this type of bit? Because the tip of it is a lot smaller than the base of it which makes an easy easy way of filing around that cuticle area sometimes if your barrel is too thick it can be really hard to get into those hard to reach areas and it just makes it so much easier so i'm going to go ahead and file around the cuticle area and then file vertically up and down i do this when i'm doing long nails and if they are short i file horizontally like I said, check out my other videos. I explain everything in my how to e-file video. If you guys want to know really in depth on how I do it. I do have my e-file at a speed of about 8,000 RPMs. That's my comfortable speed for this e-file and for this step.
once I'm done filing the surface of the nail, I am going in with my Tommy Taylor Peel and Stick file. You can find this in my Amazon storefront if you are new to my channel or if you have missed it in my previous videos. I do have an Amazon storefront. You can easily access all of my favorite products on Amazon, so check that out. All the links are in separate albums, so make sure you guys check it out. I'm just going in and filing the sides of the nail, making sure that the shape is nice and crisp. You do not want to skip this because when you apply the acrylic, it can distort that shape. So make sure that you guys are not skipping the final filing for the shape. And then I do like to go over gently the surface of the nail with my hand file as well. Sometimes the e-file can leave harsh lines. So I'm just smoothing it out, um, making sure that everything is nice and smooth. I'm flipping the hand around to look at the nails from the client's perspective and then I'm filing that shape into perfection. This helps a ton as you can see a lot of the nails were kind of crooked and when I look at them from this angle I can fix it. I'm going in and buffing with my Profiles Backstage Sponge Buffer. I am obsessed with these. They're super thick and super sturdy, which I love. And it makes everything just so, so smooth. I definitely don't skip this step when I am doing nail art, especially hand-painted nail art. Once I'm done filing, I am making sure that I'm dusting off any excess dust and then immediately after that, I am cleansing the surface of the nail and my practice hand with a lint-free wipe and some swipe from Young Nails. This just helps get rid of all that extra gunk and make sure that it preps the nail for any nail art or top coat. So my newest obsession are decals. I used to be super against them because I thought it was like a cheating way for doing nail art. I am definitely a lot more open to them now. Therefore, I am trying to use them a lot more, especially for beginners. I know it's a lot easier for you guys. These are from Profiles Backstage. Check them out. Don't forget to use my discount code. They have a ton of decals. When I got these, I was super excited. They have Halloween, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you guys check them out. I decided to go with these. They have like a holographic tint to it. Um, they're gold and then I'm using the black ones specifically. I thought about using gold but a lot of the time it can kind of camouflage into especially when you're using yellow in a set. So I just opted for using black. I thought it would give a really good contrast especially because fall is when the weather starts getting cold and you like to wear you know more of the darker colors so i'm just adding some of these little leaves i'm just using some tweezers because i cannot do it to save my life with my nails and i'm just making sure that i'm pressing them into exactly where i want them to be placed and then i kind of just lay it over the nail to kind of see where exactly i want to put it it can be hard to kind of imagine it but because 
you have it right there you can just place it over without sticking it and then when you're content with the placement you can go ahead and press it into place So just a quick little tip, if you guys notice that any of the edges are sticking up, because these are stickers, sometimes they will crinkle up in some areas because the nail is curved. Take a lint-free wipe and some acetone. I don't know if you can use alcohol, I always use acetone, and then just rub it over that decal. It will melt it nicely onto the surface of the nail without ruining it or taking it off. So just thought I would share that with you. It makes life so much easier. It definitely helps a ton. Now that I'm all finished with that, I am going ahead and applying my top coat. For this step, I'm using Not Polish Matted. It is the best matte top coat I have ever used. It is super velvety and I literally rub my nails all the time when I have this top coat on. It's super, super smooth. So I do really like it. it has zero shine to it and it will last matte the entire time the client or yourself have the nails on. So make sure you guys check it out. I am making sure that I'm curing it in the light for at least one minute. I always do two minutes just to make sure that everything is fully sealed. Especially if the client moves just a little bit you want to make sure that all of the nails are perfect. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.